Welcome back to the C tutorial series. I'm so glad you're here. Today we will learn about if statements and use them to create a calculator. So let's get started. Before we build the calculator, let's introduce if statements. So I created a file called if statements.c and I want to print out the largest number. So I'm going to create a double which is a decimal value and I'm going to create two variables, num1 and num2. And then I'm going to ask the user to input two numbers. Then I'm going to scan what they enter and assign them to the variables num1 and num2. Now we'll introduce the if statement. And it is just if, and I'll say if num1 is greater than num2, then I have curly braces and what's inside here will execute if num1 is greater than num2. It's then going to print out num1 if num1 is the largest number. Now let's run this. And it says enter two numbers to see what is bigger. I'm going to input 4 and 3 and it will say 4 is the largest number. And now let's run it again. This time I'll put 3 and 4 and it doesn't output anything because this if statement is not true. If we wanted to check if num1 and num2 are equal, we could do another if statement. Or we can make this simpler by doing an else if statement. Because num1 can't be greater than num2 and num1 can't equal num2 at the same time. So I'll say else if num1 is equal to num2 and is equal to has two equal signs and then inside the curly braces we're going to print that the numbers are the same so it will say the numbers are the same they are both whatever the number is and then otherwise we know that num2 is the greatest number so we can just say num2 is the largest number so we'll copy that from above and switch num1 to num2 and now if we run this this should work for all cases if i enter 4 and 3 it says 4 is the largest number if i run this again and enter a smaller number first and i can do decimals as well so i'll do 3 and 3.7 it will return 3.7 is the largest number and finally I can run the program and enter two numbers that are the same for example 10 and 10 the numbers are the same they are both 10 so this if statement works now we can use this knowledge to create a basic calculator like before I'm gonna create a variable for two numbers and I'm gonna create another variable that has the operator then I'm gonna ask the user to enter a number an operator symbol and another number and then I'll scan what the user enters in as a double a character and a double so now we can begin our if statement if the operator is equal to a plus sign we'll just print num1 plus num2 equals whatever the answer is percent g will round the number to the other appropriate digits so we'll just say percent g plus percent g equals percent g and then put in num1 num2 and num1 plus num2 and then we can do this for the other four cases so i just copy and pasted the code and then i'll do else if operator is equal to the minus sign do num1 minus num2 else if the operator is equal to the multiplication sign do num1 times num2 and else if operator is equal to the division sign do num1 divided by num2 and we can also do an else statement and print invalid operator. So now let's run this to see if it works. I'll enter 3 plus 4 
and it returns 3 plus 4 equals 7. Now let's run this again with subtraction, and I'll do 4 minus 5, and that equals negative 1. I can also do multiplication, so I'll do 5 times 10.5, and this returns 52 and a half. And finally, I can do division, do 15 divided by 4, and this returns 3.75. And I can also test this for an invalid operator. For example, if I do 3s2, it will return invalid operator. And this is how to create a basic calculator. And this is how to create a basic calculator in C. Next, we will introduce while loops in our C programs. Make sure to follow along with this video series by subscribing and hitting the notification bell or by clicking on the next video so that you can expand your knowledge about C. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you next time.